I wonder, do I look better on that side? We could try. Oh. Anyway, hi guys, welcome back. This is my mummy. Hello, say hi. <laughs> Mammy Helen, as you might be referred to online oh, now. Mammy yeah. Helen. But once you say it, that's it now. Tell me what you call me. I don't really sound rich online. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not the topic of conversation. No, not really, to be honest. <laughs> We're here to talk about what is the topic of conversation usually. Oh. Which is Justice just, League. Justice League. Just oh, my Lord. <laughs> so tell us what like, you what know that, what, what about it's, Justice it's League. It's a movie. Yeah. You're mad about it. Okay. Never stop talking about it. Oh, true. Uh, Superman, is it? Yeah. It is yeah. Superman, it's which Superman. I used to love. Yeah, you liked Chris Reeves. I loved Chris you? Reeves when I was younger. Yeah. I'm not such a movie buff anymore, no matter, in any way. But... But you used to be. Oh, I used to be a real movie buff. And I did love Christopher Reeves. Yeah. Um, I know that you are geeky about all this. I talk to people and I'd be cleaning <laughs> around the place and hear Jess in here chatting away about all sorts. Of I do know that you... Are very <laughs> opinionated. That's true. So there's some somebody else made a movie. Yeah, that she thought was rubbish. Yeah, but I don't know what's that. Mm -hmm. That's mom. That's way more than I thought you would know. Okay, I do yeah, listen. That's really good. You do listen. Not at the keyhole when she's talking in no, here, but because you're not interested. But <laughs> when she is tell ramming it, I have to Down say, <laughs> and not just mine. We all sit at the table every night for dinner. And out of seven nights a week, she probably does try and chip it into the conversation at least five. Because it is a daily conversation. And her I younger have. sister, she's trying to clone her into being Liking a follower it. of this. But no. Sophia has a really good mind of her own. Yes. And so she like if she likes it, she'll like it, but she won't like it because Jess tells No, it. that's true. And she's so smart. Like whenever I say something to her, she's like, oh, is it because of this? And I'm like, yes, how do you know that? Yeah, and she's she like, because I just guessed. I'm like, oh my God. She pops on quick. She's really smart. And she's a great sense of humour. She's a really good sense of humour. you have to have with Jessica. She's a bit camera shy though. So I've tried oh, to get her she on, but she's a bit camera shy. shy. Yeah. yeah, I'm a bit camera shy too. But you, you're doing well. Am I doing So we're here today to tell you everything. Okay. From the very beginning. Okay. So that when I talk to you about it, then you'll know. I can't wait. <laughs> That's just, it's its actually going to make my life worth living. I can't believe it. I'm going to be great. You really? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But you'll have a deeper appreciation, I think. Because it is a fantastic story. Is it? Well, it's kind of a depressing uh, how story. How long have you been following it? Okay, I've been a comic book fan since I was about seven. Do you remember I, me getting comics? You do have a big learn to comics yeah, here. Yeah, comics actually, here. Yeah. I'm more up in the attic as well. Right. I mean, I don't think I've ever known anybody else in my life. I, and I have brothers and I have plenty of sisters yeah. and all of that. And I don't... I loved comics when I was a kid. Not the same type of comics Jessica liked. What type of... Oh, like Bounty and stuff like that? I loved all of that kind yeah. of thing. And I the remember... Bounty's like... Um, like babysitter club kind of thing. So I do understand why you would love comics. Yeah. But I've never known anybody else. Like well, none of my brothers, true, none of my other sisters. Yeah. None of the girls here except Jessica. And it is an unusual thing, I think, for I people think, to like. I think it's much more American now that I'm thinking about mm. it. Because I, none of my friends like comics no. or anything like that. So maybe it's just a, more of an American mm. thing. I yeah. just don't think it's very big here. No, I don't. I'm not sure if it ever has been really no. big here. No, no. I don't think Dad read them or anything like that when you were no. younger. No, I don't think so. Don't I don't think know. So. so, but I do understand why you like them. Yeah, because they are like books. Yeah. And uh, there's real mature ones as well. Yeah. My daughter's like, great. <laughs> Look what they're doing now. I just boast Jack about Jack Snyder followed her. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm so proud. laughs> I just boast about the girls online. But, um, but anyway. Get Get into the old. We're gonna Snyder. We're gonna cut. start Snyder and cut. Yes, and I did call him Jack Snyder. Jack Snyder, and I still will. I can't help it. Even when it just comes to mind, I forget that he is. I Zach. really have to think to call him Zach so Snyder. Funny. Jack. Automatically, if I'm telling somebody, you know that director, Jack, Jack Snyder, Snyder. and, and like, I will no. say that. <laughs> I'll say it tomorrow again. Definitely. I, yeah, that, that's, that's who comes to mind. That's such an Irish mommy thing to oh, say. But I Jack. don't. I always get real work. Names name right. I just, you know, he's like a god to me, so I'm... He's like a god to you. <laughs> I just want to know, is he handsome? Yes. Oh, is he? Oh, very. Oh, you've never shown me pictures of oh. him. You have shown me pictures about a trillion zillion times of Henry, of Henry Cavill. Cavill. I might get his name right now if I know he's attractive. <laughs> I'm not going to be mean about Henry Cavill on the camera, but chunky rather than fit. 
He's so fit, mommy. I'm sorry. He's like the most rich man in the like, world. I just, I say... just, I sorry. I love a man in a suit. Yeah, and, and he just looks like a box in a suit. Yeah, he just... doesn't because he doesn't get them fitted. Yeah, he needs to spend a bit more on his tailoring. Uh, there was, I'll show you a picture now in a second, but there was one time that he got a fitted suit. I mean, look, he's not an ugly man. Don't get me wrong. You but underst I do... you understand why people find him attractive? Yes, yeah. I do. But I like slagging him because Jess's head nearly explodes. That's, so that's not quite true. Fun. Are you joking? Mommy! Oh my God, I love Henry Cavill so much. I mean, if I brought Henry Cavill home, you'd be so happy though. Oh you? my God, yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, suddenly I'd love him. <laughs> no, we'd all have to pretend that we didn't know who he was. Anyway, this is Zack Snyder. Wow. You do think he's attractive, oh, don't you? Oh, I liked, put a bottle one was but here. Oh, he's very this handsome. Here? Oh, he's lovely. He's handsome, isn't he? Very handsome. Yeah, he's nice. He's he attractive. Yeah, yeah he lovely. is attractive. But anyway, we're not here to talk about his attractiveness. We're here to talk about his creative vision. Oh, his creative vision. How old is he about? He's uh, your age. Oh, okay. I yeah. don't know why, but Jack Snyder. Suits him. I just felt he was going to be older. What else has he made? Would I have ever seen him? Have you ever seen 300? Jared Butler's in it. I think I saw a little bit of it, I think. Well, he but... directed that. Okay. I'm trying to think of anything else that you would have seen. I don't think anything else that you would have seen. Well, directors some, are everything. Some directors really have a brand. Yeah. If that like, makes sense. Like Tarantino. No, Tarantino. He's a brand. Yeah. yeah people and I go love and see... his stuff, though. I yeah. love his quirky weirdness. Yeah. No, he is weird. But you go see a Tarantino movie because it's a Tarantino movie. Yes. Or a Christopher... And you know what you're going to get. Exactly. Or yeah. a Christopher Nolan movie. What's Christopher Nolan? You know, Inception and oh, okay, Interstellar. Okay. And oh, Dunk did he do all them ones? Oh, yeah. One person did all them. Yeah. That's not surprising, actually. Yeah. You can see clearly, yeah. like, oh, that's yeah. the same director. But you go and see that that movie because it's Christopher Nolan. And that's the same with Zack Snyder now. So he has a type. Oh, a very, very well-known type. Right. So who's the Flash? The Flash. Who, who's so the actor? So it's not like Flash Gordon or anything? No. Uh, no, it's... It's a different character. Okay. Yeah. But uh, sorry, we'll get to that. We'll go to the beginning. Christopher Nolan, who I was just talking about, he made three Batman movies. Do you remember them? With Christian Bale in them? Yes. So they were really big. I wasn't mad about Christian Bale. Oh, he's smart. No, he wasn't the best. I couldn't hear him for a start. Yes! I was like, Jesus, <laughs> what the hell is he saying? And I got so <laughs> fed up. I got fed up listening to that. It just turned me off the... Ben Affleck I've always quite liked. Yeah, Ben Affleck is... Because I think he's like my husband. Well, he was when he was younger. He had the same jawline. That's it. Not the same look, but definitely from the side. I love Ben Affleck. Oh dear. So please don't compare him to my father. Sorry. And I, but, I got there first. But also he doesn't... <laughs> he doesn't look like Ben Affleck to me, so it doesn't no, really bother I mean, me. It, it, look, nobody else would probably see it. Anyway, so Christopher Nolan made their movies. Really successful. Very, very, very successful. That's DC. Right, so it's like Liverpool and United. Right. They're two different teams, Marvel and DC, right? People like to pretend like, oh, we love them both, but you always have a favourite. But is there Marvel Batman? No. 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 So Batman is DC. Is DC. So you all have so your characters. So what's Marvel? Spider-Man? So, yeah. Okay. Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man, the Avengers. See, yeah. See I, I haven't watched the Avengers. Yeah. Iron Man wouldn't be for me. Oh, no. But I liked Spider-Man. Yeah, well, Spider-Man's the most successful Marvel character. Yeah, I liked Spider-Man. He'd be the big, like, the, in terms of biggest superheroes, it would be Batman, Superman, Spider-Man. Right. Do you know what I mean? They would be the big three. It's like two different teams. Okay. That was DC. So DC were doing really well. This was like about 2008, 2009, right? They were doing really well. They weren't doing, they were just doing Batman. Okay. There was no Superman. There was no Wonder Woman. There was nothing, mm -hmm. right? It was just Batman. And in that world, Batman didn't know anyone else. So, okay. you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying yeah, to say? It was, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was by itself. But Marvel, at the same time, started doing a universe where everyone knew each other. Okay. So Iron Man knew Captain America, Captain okay. America knew Spider-Man, yes. you know, all that type of thing. Yes. So it became this huge thing, right? Which is a good idea. It's a great idea. Yeah. And it's very comic book accurate. Because yes. in the comics, Batman could call up Superman. You There's know always I mean? goodies and baddies. Exactly. So why wouldn't one goodie know another goodie? Exactly. That's the yeah. point, right? So they were doing that and it became huge. Like mm. huge, huge, huge. It's the biggest, it's the most successful movie of all time. The so Avengers. poor DC. Exactly. So DC were doing well at that time. But then they were late to the game. You know what I mean? Like they thought to themselves like, well, we're making so much money with this type of thing. We're just going to keep doing this. Mm. But Marvel were doing another thing and we're being twice as successful as they ever were. Okay. You know what I mean? But then DC were like, well, we have these characters. Like, we have Wonder Woman and Superman and Batman and The Flash. Like, the biggest characters of all time. Now, what's The Flash? <laughs> you, like, keep what you keep coming back to The Flash. <laughs> I've never heard of The Flash. <laughs> what? Oh. Like, is there a movie dedicated to The Flash? No. Okay. 
but there's there wasn't a movie dedicated to Wonder Woman before hers either. Yeah, but everyone knows Wonder Woman. Yeah, get, and I get Wonder that. Woman was on TV. But what and about, I loved okay, Wonder but what about Woman. Aquaman? I've heard of Aquaman, but wasn't there a movie about him? Well, only recently. Okay. So there's some characters and that you just so know of. Aquaman, the big guy with the long hair. Yeah, Jason Momoa. No, he, I remember seeing, so maybe I only know it because I remember him being interviewed and he had done a movie and mm -hmm. he was really successful in it. I can't remember what it was. Yeah. And he said he had been promised Aquaman, but they didn't make it then for ages. But he knew about five years that he was going to be doing it. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah that is, he was in Game of Thrones. Ah, that's what it was. Yeah, he was. See, in, I never watched Game of Thrones. So. He was in Game of Thrones. Well, you listen. I know. <laughs> well, then in 2011, 12, the Batman trilogy was ending. Okay. So Nolan said he was only going to do three and he wasn't going to introduce Superman or anything like that. Okay. So he was done and then DC could go on their way and do whatever they wanted. So then they went to Chris Nolan's kind of crew and they saw like who was around him because they kind of wanted that vibe again. You know what I mean? Because yeah. he was doing well. So they wanted like that type of style again. So they got Zack Snyder. Like he's good friends with Chris Nolan and he learned. And had he worked on the other movies? Um, I think only in producing ways. He would have been... Probably doing something. Exactly. But imagine if Jack Snyder gave you something like that to do in a movie. Well, Jack Snyder doesn't exist. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that, see, see. <laughs> gave me something like yes, that. Like, I know, it'd be amazing. Do absolutely. it, Zach. Absolutely. I do it, Zach, and I will give her her fare over. You <laughs> just have America. to pay it back. Or he could stay here. He'd come over to Ireland. Yes, I'd definitely. Would you have him? Yes. We'd have you. Anytime he likes. <laughs> Anytime. Yes. Oh. I'd have to. Imagine I came downstairs. I'd have to know a bit in advance to make sure the house. The was... house was ready and everything, yeah. Imagine I came downstairs and I was like, Zack Snyder's coming over. I'd say okay. No. <laughs> of course you'd say okay. <laughs> I'd make you say okay. <laughs> Fair I'd enough. Say, That's all right then. <laughs> bring him down. We'll bring him out for dinner. That would be so We'll cool. bring him to the pub. Oh my God. That would actually be so good. Cool. crack. Zach, we'd be such a laugh. Yeah. You'd love us. Jess used to work, do a waitressing in a pub and uh, they all love her in there. She's hilarious. See, when I'm doing this now, I might remember it. Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Tomorrow, if I'm telling anybody that I did this, I'll be saying, we're talking, talking about, about Jack Jess. Snyder. So they took Zach. Okay. And they said, okay, we want to do something that kind of, kind of like Marvel are doing. Okay. So we want Superman to talk to Batman and Batman to talk to Wonder Woman. And we want to have um, Justice League movies, which is them together as a team. And then we want them to have their own movies as well. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Can I just say? Yeah. Is this something else? Do you remember Tom Cruise was going to do this with the mummy? Yeah. And the this, and that completely fell apart. That's called the monster verse. Well. Didn't go well, but it's very similar. Okay. So yeah. it's, that was Sony's version. Okay. Of what Marvel and DC are Poor doing. Poor Sony. Poor Sony. But no, they're getting back on track. Or are they? So Superman was going to have his own movie. Batman yeah. was going to have his own movie. But then in Justice League, they do, they'd all come together and they'd fight a villain. You know what right. I mean? So that's what they were planning to do. So they started off with Man of Steel, which is Superman. Okay. Henry Cavill. And was it brilliant? So it was very divisive. Right. 50% of people loved it. 50% of people really and didn't love it. What did you do? I loved it. What? I think you would really like it, actually. Right. Yeah, I um, give that a look. Yeah, I think you should. I think mm. if you were going to watch any of them, it would be Man of Steel. Okay. Because it's very um, realistic. Oh, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's kind of trying to take Superman and put him into the real world as okay. opposed to like spinning around the world and as know, opposed to Lois Lane putting on and glasses and nobody knowing who the hell you are. Lois Lane knows who he is from the beginning. Ah. Yeah, there's no <laughs> there's no mystery. Ah. She finds out who he is <laughs> immediately. Yeah, there's so no mystery. On them specs. Oh, he does that too though. Okay. Yeah, he does that at the end. But anyway, um, it's okay. It's a, yeah, no, you have to we like that. Some things you have to kind of just take. Yeah. You know what I mean? People don't know he's Superman. It's like the cringy names and jokes in um, James Bond. Exactly. You're on the right track again. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're getting into the right track. So and Steel was quite divisive. So 50% okay. lo people loved it, 50% people really didn't love it. There was a reason. Do you want me to tell you the reason in the movie? Yeah, no, I don't mind. Okay, do you remember Zod in the movies? Christopher Reeve. I'll just tell you anyway. Okay. Zod is from where Superman is. He's from Krypton. Oh, yes. Yeah, of course. And yes, he, okay. He got put into the Phantom Zone. It's like the prison. Oh, yes. And then Superman was sent to Earth. And then he escapes and he tries to fight. He tries to That's kill it. Superman. You and he brought a bit of kryptonite with him. And yes, all and all that yes. type of thing. Yeah. Well, that happens in Man of Steel. But at the end of the movie, Superman kills him. Oh. He snaps his neck. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of, it's quite graphic. But there is a reason why he does it. He has to do it. He's given no other choice. Like it, Zod says to him, like, I will, you'll either kill me or I will kill everyone on Earth. I suppose they can't have him again. 
They can yes, like that's they can't the have them again. No. So in a in a thing that you're going to do a series of mm. events, yeah, it's unusual to kill somebody like that. Yes. Because they say, well, we can use him again. again. Yeah, that is very, that's again. very true. So that's, I'm surprised at that. I, I wouldn't be, oh, why did they do that? Open arms. No, yeah. because look, obviously they had a good reason, but I just think it's unusual for them to have done it. And it was, but maybe that's what was so shocking. It was shocking. Yeah, so yeah, it was shocking. weren't ready for it. People weren't ready for it. I mean, you're right. It is a shame that they didn't bring him back because he was played by, you know, Michael Shannon. Oh yeah, no, I think if there was anyone that they could have kept, can't use him again. I'd say he thinks it's a pity too. No, I think... I think Michael Shannon wanted this to be one thing. Oh really? Yeah, he's a real. He's a kind of. He's Didn't an want actor. To be typecast. Um, maybe typecast, but also I just don't think he wants to be tied down to like ten movies. Okay. You know what I mean? And you like so you might be in a cameo for this, and you might yeah. be that. You know what I mean? It's like some actors don't want to be tied down to a role for no. ten years. Yeah. Yeah. Russell Crowe is in it too. He plays Superman's dad. Oh. And um, Kevin Costner. Yeah. He's in it too. He plays Superman's other dad. The guy that adopted him, kind of. Yes. yes. Er, uh, pa Kent, so yeah. the Earth's Oh, one. yeah. Yeah. And Diane Keaton, you know her as well? Yes. She plays his mom. And Amy Adams plays Lois Lane. Oh. Yeah. And she's very really good. good. So yes. it's a really great cast. Yes. Yeah. Very good cast. And Henry Cavill also plays Superman. That's the one I should see. Definitely, that's the one you should see. Yeah. Okay. And it's the first one as well, so it makes sense. Okay. You know, so then it went on to. So then it went on. So it was very divisive, as I said, because of that reason, because okay. Zod killed. And also, in. The final battle, Superman was in Metropolis, obviously, and killed loads of people. Loads of people died. Okay. It was like, it was like 9 11. So it was the new year of Superman. They were actually going to get real. Yes. yes they were so actually going to get real. They were going to That's shoot the down into the streets, no. something bolder, and everyone would go, ah! Oh and God. nobody and everybody go everybody get on the bus and go home. They're gonna love so you for saying actually that. They're going to kill. They're people. gonna love you for saying that because it's like true. Like people are gonna die. Do you know what I mean? Well it's that just, is I mean so it's they the were unfortunate it, Yes, of course. Consequence. Whereas well, Marvel, they wouldn't have needed Superman if there was a baddie that wasn't gonna kill anybody. That's the thing. But if it was Marvel, they kinda like wink and yeah. they're like died you yeah. know but even though it was in the city where buildings yeah. were falling down whereas yeah, no, i don't have a problem with no people dying. it is a movie no but they they kind of were like people were giving out they were like oh well superman wasn't trying to save these people and our argument is well it was his first day as superman didn't know anything about being superman mm -hmm. you know what i mean he was just trying his best like yes a lot of money at the box office but not as much as marvel was making and did it lose fans did people say, oh, I'm not going to see the other one. I just didn't like it. Lose fans. It's it's hard to say. I say, did it lose fans? I think the people that really didn't like it, I don't think anyone hated it. Mm. Let's say that. I think they either loved it or they were like, uh, mm. I don't love this, but I don't hate it. Do you mm. know what I mean? They could see the good bits in it. Yeah. Like they wanted to see Henry Cavill as Superman again. They wanted to see this cast again. Okay. They definitely wanted a sequel. So I don't think it lost fans. I just think it wasn't any, it wasn't everyone's favourite. Okay. Um, but it was definitely a good starting point, I think a lot of people thought, you know what I mean? And the, the, the things that they didn't like in it, they kind of just wanted it to change in the second one, but to continue. To be fair, for Henry Cavill, that was a huge part to get. Huge. Wasn't it? Biggest. Yeah. Yeah, biggest. He, he, he'd auditioned for like five or six things And before. he is a very nice guy. So, He's really nice, so yeah. So good for that. No, yeah, no, great yeah. for that. Now, and honestly, Henry Cavill isn't the best actor in the world. No. But in Man's Steel, he was very good. He's no Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> He's no Leonardo DiCaprio, that's for sure. <laughs> He's no Ben Affleck, who plays opposite him yeah, in the next movie. Ben has played some great parts. Ben gets better with age. Yeah. He really does. I, I think I think since he's been, since he's become a director, and it made a lot of move, money, made six hundred million. So, so Avengers was, made two billion. I remember, and I I remember Avengers making a lot. Yeah. yeah. A movie that just like it doesn't have. Like Avengers made two billion because they had twenty movies before, before it. Right. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. what, it was a lead up. But Man of Steel was the first out of the gate. The six hundred million is actually quite good. You Very know what good. I mean? Very good for that. They made a yeah. profit. It was all good, but they didn't make as much as Marvel was making at the time. Right. So the executives were like, "Well, we want to make make Marvel money," but Zach was kind of saying, "Well, we're not going to make Marvel money right now. Like, give it time. It has to build up." I you know agree what I mean? with that. Like, it's not you can't just go straight into making I agree two billion. With that. I agree with that. And if you do anything too quick. They're fair weather fans yeah. that you get as well. Exactly. I think if things grow slowly and people really get to know, sometimes you're nearly better off with people word of mouth knowledge about something. A hundred percent. And you follow it and then you really like it. And then people are really solid fans and you've yeah. got them. That's and you it. have a base. Yeah. And you know they're gonna come back six, seven, eight times. Do you yeah. know what I mean? That's that's why Avengers made money, was because their fans, they knew 
like people saw that 10, 12 times yeah. in the cinema. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're based of fans. Remember this for later because it's going to get really bad for the fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have bad times coming up. We're in the good times right now. Okay. So DC and the executive comes to Zack and they're like, look, we want to make Marvel money. So we need to ramp this up quickly. And he's like, okay, well, what do you want to do? And they're like, well, Batman was our big guy. So we want to add Batman in. So we want you to write scripts for the next few movies and see what you come up with. So Zack's like, okay, I have to involve Batman. So he involves Batman and he writes the other scripts as well. So his plan was originally that he was going to do BVS, Batman versus Superman, and then three Justice League movies after that, right? So it was going to go BVS and then three more Justice Leagues. But why would Batman and Superman be fighting? Well, I'll tell you, I'll get to it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get to I'm it. Like, they're supposed she to hasn't seen any of the movies. No, I haven't. But I will tell you. So they bring Batman in, thinking that this is going to be our big money day. And I don't know if you remember at the time when BBS was coming out, but it was all no. you could see. Like, you turn on the TV, there was an ad for BBS. It was the biggest movie of all time. Okay. Even when Marvel was around. You know right. I mean? So Marvel was around, but it was nothing compared to BBS. Like, BBS right. was because it's Batman versus Superman. Yeah. And this is the first time that they have been on screen together ever. Mm -hmm. Kong versus Godzilla. Godzilla. That's only that was only made because of BBS. BBS is close to three hours long, right? And the Warner Brothers executives come to Zach and are like, "It can't be three hours long," and he's like, "Why?" And they're like, "Because it needs to be around two hours fifteen, because the less a movie is, the more times you can play it in cinemas in a day." Of course, you I know knew what I mean? that. Yeah, I knew that was going to be the problem. Yeah, you need to. Rotate it, rotate it, rotate it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. they were like, Tim, you need to cut this movie down. And he's like, well, I can't really because it's all very important to the story. Yes. Um, Otherwise, it looks stupid. There'll well, be bits yeah. missing and it won't tell the real story. You can't, yeah. things won't make any sense. Yeah. They don't care. They do it anyway. Right. They chop out half an hour of the movie, which is a long, half an hour is a lot. It is a huge amount. It's a huge amount. Yeah. And now they do it over sections, but the movie doesn't make any sense. Right. So the movie comes out. Some people like it. What must it be like to be a director, though, and have that happen? I know, it's terrible. It must be actually really frustrating. And also the writer. Because it's not what you made. No, it's not what you made. No. And everyone thinks it's crap. So everyone's like, That's and, really hard. And then. Chris Terrio is the writer. He did um, Argo. Loved Argo. Which was a great movie. He's Brilliant. a great writer. Yeah. So he writes this. He, ben got him in. Right. Um, and him and Zach write the story together. And he was just treated terribly by people. Like, pe like when BVS came out... As I said, it was like, it was supposed to be the biggest movie of all time. Like, you couldn't breathe without thinking about that movie. But when it came out, it got slandered. Like, people hated it. Mm. Like, hated it more than you should hate a movie. You know what I mean? Because it was half, because half an hour was taken out of it. But we didn't know that at the time. And people had invested in it. Yeah. Already. Oh, well. And the characters are so. Are so big. Exactly. Big, that to ruin that movie is a big deal. It's a huge deal. Yeah. It's a huge deal. Yeah. And also they were competing with Marvel, blah, blah, oh, blah. It's a, it, imagine, imagine a like Liverpool losing imagine the league. Imagine if they'd just taken a bit of a hit on it. And it, that probably would have built up the whole... But the thing is... Like if me, everybody had absolutely adored it, yeah. every other movie could have been much shorter, quicker, little stories, yeah. and you would have had a huge... But the thing is, is if it was great, people would have sat through it. Oh, look, 100%. You know what I mean? Like people oh, no, sit through it, two look, and a half hour yes. movies all the time. Well, and... If they're three, if they're really good, you don't notice that they're that long. You don't. You don't no, at all. No. It got twenty eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh dear. It's Although, but that's I, why I Rotten that movie. that's why Rotten Tomatoes doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's no. just critics yeah. saying their own thing. But they attacked them for stupid things, mm. ridiculous things. Like there, there's this one bit in the movie where Lois Lane, being a journalist, and she's in the desert and she's talking to a terrorist, and the terrorist goes like, um, "Oh, well, I don't want to talk to you because you're a lady," and then Lois Lane goes to him. No, I'm not a lady, I'm a journalist, right? And a lot of people were like, that's crap. You know, Chris Terrio doesn't understand women and it's sexist and blah, blah, blah. But it was actually in reference to, you know, the journalist who went to Syria and was killed? Yes. Do you know the one with the eye patch? Yes. It was nearly a direct quote from her. Oh. So it was in honour of her. Oh. That's who Lois Lane is, is based on in these in these movies. Okay. So it's supposed to be like a hard, gritted, you know, yeah. journalist. Yeah. And people just didn't care enough to even think about it. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. they wouldn't, you know what I mean? So they didn't mm. care. I think a movie like BVS would, would make two billion easy. Yes. You know, a billion. It only made 800 million. Ooh. So it only made 200 million more than Man of Steel. Wow. So then that put it in perspective. Exactly. How good Man of Steel did, really. Um... For the first out of the door. Or um, how bad BVS did. Well, no, that did do badly, but yeah. it also shows. It puts in 
It's a good way of looking at it, man. That is a good way of looking at it. I've never really thought about it that way because it's kind of been told to us that it's so bad. There's always two ways of looking at anything. There is always two ways of looking at it. But, yes. Seth, not Zack Snyder now. Yes. Sorry. You're a fan of him now. Yeah. Yeah. And some guy. Um, they only made 800 million. Yeah, they only made, eight, made 800 million. So people got fired. A lot of people got fired in Warner Brothers. Switched everything out. They switched people in, switched people out, like executives and heads and stuff like that. Okay. Now, it's going to get a bit confusing with names, so don't worry about it. Okay. If you don't fully know. Okay, I'll, I'll just tell you the main guys. It's a guy called Jeff Johns. Right. Right. He is a comic book writer. Okay. He's written a few comics up there, actually. Right. Really good comic book writer. Okay. Terrible person. He was brought in to be like the comic book expert. Okay. So he was going to oversee comic books, right? There was another guy called John Berg. You don't really need to know about no. him. Just another executive. And then the head of DC, the head, 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 was a guy called Kevin Sujihara. I like that name though. Kevin Sujihara. Kevin Sujihara. <laughs> I'm going to remember that. <laughs> well, he's a Kevin terrible Sujihara. person. Sujihara. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Oh, no. I was hoping he'd be nice. So no. Him a bit. No, them three you guys. I was talking to about the other day. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Sujihara. Sujihara. There's another guy coming up that is also a bad guy, but they're the they're not good. Jeff Johns in particular. And why was he bad? I will tell you. Where mm. they were looking at um BVS, they said this is this failed. But a week after BVS was came out, just as he was supposed to start filming. So they didn't have any time to change anything. Okay. Do you know what I mean? They didn't have no, oh sorry, the reason why people hated BVS. <laughs> okay. The reason why Batman and Superman are fighting is Robin's been killed. Oh. Superman says, Martha. Batman Superman fans. The Batman would beat Superman. Oh, but he would. It's been in the comics many times. I just would, I don't like that. And part. the reason why is because Superman holds back. Superman is a good guy. Yeah, he is. So he doesn't guy. want to kill Batman ever. Okay. But Batman at that time mm. was fully intent on killing Superman. Mm. Oh, yeah, I, I, I look uh, in anything that's true. If yeah. you've got that in you, you've got it in you. I think it should have been he said Martha and it ended up it was both their mothers. Oh, it was the same woman. <laughs> what a twist! Oh, wowza. How good would that have been? Favorite part of the movie. I either. think actually what would have worked. Mm. Okay, why are me writing scripts? Sack, this would have worked, okay? I think what would have worked was if he had said the name of a baddie that he knew something about or something and oh batman, like lex luther's gonna do this batman or... realized actually i need all of this and i need this information and i need this guy mm. to help yeah yeah that would have been good too. i think that would have been better yeah that actually would have been good yeah. as well i actually like that i love the movie but i don't love it as much man steal or anything else. the heads above not say look actually we made a mistake in cooking this movie no you see, that's a pity. They didn't. Like, it, it's a pity in anything. In they life went when harder. to do the wrong thing. Yeah. That they don't just say, actually, do you know what it is? It, it wasn't the story. It wasn't the two guys doing the acting. It actually, we shouldn't have cut it. Fans of these things would sit for hours, hours in these and things. Hours okay, you might get someone to go and watch Driving Miss Daisy for three hours. No. But you would these type of movies. These type of movies, you definitely would. But they're young people. They could sit there for longer. And what they said to Zach was, okay, we can't stop just to see from going ahead now. Because mm. we're already, we're filming next week. Yes. You know what I mean? So we're going to do it, but we're going to have these two guys here the whole time in this, on set. Jeff critiquing Jones, it. Critiquing it. Ah, please. Telling you what you can and can't put in. Ah, ridiculous. All that type of thing, right? So terrible. Ter terrible. Imagine being a director and having to do That's that. That's disgrace. No, it's either you trust it's me like or you don't. It's like having a manager of a football team and having the, the owner telling them what they're allowed to put on the it would, It doesn't but work. It especially doesn't work in creative circles. Because no. You know oh what I mean? You have to... But he has to feel it. He has to see it. He yeah. has to... That's what you... Well, otherwise, there's not a director. Exactly. It's a puppet. Exactly. So, Zach was like fighting with them the whole time. Ah, oh, terrible. So, what he would do is he would film what he wanted to film. I'm sorry. He would film what they wanted to film. So, they'd be like, they wanted to make it funnier. And more like Marvel and that sort of thing. Which is good. Yeah, but, but it's copying there. someone else. Mommy, exactly. Be what you Be are your own and have thing. confidence in what you are. That's the thing. And nobody needs two Marvels. Mommy, you're speaking facts. This yeah, is the truth. No, nobody just needs don't, it twice. don't copy them. No. Like just be your own thing and just go with it. You know what I mean? I'd rather someone swing hard and miss yeah. than be just a copycat of that. Oh. Zach was would do would film what they wanted to film, so the funny haha <laughs> camp mm. versions, but then he'd also be like, Okay, well we'll take another cut and we'll do mine. Do you know what I mean? So every single, nearly every single scene. The poor actors. Oh my God. To be fair. I know. I'd say their heads were wrecked. I'd say so. Yeah. So they did Zach's version and 
Jeff Johns's little other version. Do you right. know what I mean? At the same time. Um, and Zach was like fighting tooth and nail to get this is the Snyder cut. Yeah. Ah, well, okay. no. No. There's okay. more. Okay. Get ready. There's more. It's about to get really bad. So they wrapped filming. Everything's done. Mm. They they started filming that in 2016. And it's supposed to be out. The movie is supposed to be out in November 2017. Filming in about, I think it's November 2016. They film. They finish it, right? But then in March 2018, or 2017, Zach's daughter killed herself. Oh, no. Yeah, she commits suicide. What age was she? She was younger than me. Oh. She was 21, I think. Yeah, it was very sad. But Debbie, who was the girl I showed you, his mm. wife, um, she was the executive producer on it too. So they were both really involved in the movie. Wow. Um, so she commits suicide, unfortunately. And obviously that was terrible. Oh he God. took some time off. Of course. But he wants to come back and finish it. Kind of in her honour. You know what I mean? Because she, her, she was like, she, he has eight kids. And she was the one who loved comic books the most Aww. so he wants to finish it for her you what know what i mean dreadful thing it was awful really really you horrific and of course trolls and disgusting oh, people well, yeah you know what i mean because they didn't like bvs yeah it's, oh my god yeah. yeah like would they bring it into that of course isn't that ridiculous could you imagine it like you know, big stuff horrific but you know january uh yeah january 2017 so just about two months before it that was happened due to be released no two months before uh she passed away okay um, the the executives, so Kevin Sujahara, Jeff Johns and John Berg saw the movie without the VFX or anything like that. Okay. So it was just a bare bone movie because yeah. it was filmed, but it wasn't nothing was done with it. There sure. was no editing, do you know what I mean? Yes. Um, and they said they hated it. It was too long. It was about three, it was about three and a half hours. Too dark. They hated it. Zach was like, I don't care that you hate it. Do you mm. know what I mean? I, this mm. is the movie that we're making. We can't make it too short. It's kind of ironic because the things that they wanted more of, they wanted more humor. In order to make, put that in the movie, it needed to be longer. You know what I mean? Yes. So you can't have both. You can't no. make it, you can't have all the things that you want and have a two hour movie. It's a Justice League movie. So we have Batman, Superman and Wonder Woman. But we had no one else. Right. So no Aquaman, no Flash, no Cyborg. There's three other characters that you have to put in to a movie. It's a lot. Like their origins, everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The whole thing. Everyone needs to start knowing about who they are, what they are. Exactly. But you also have to put in the bad guys who are big bad guys. I don't know if you've ever heard of Dark Side. Right. He's the number one baddie in all of DC. So okay. they were trying to introduce him as well. So there's a lot of introducing. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of things to do. You know what I mean? I mean? It, you know, the worst thing you can ever do is not give somebody a proper backstory. If somebody just exactly. arrives. It makes no sense. Well, I always hate it because yeah. I always go, oh. God, who is she? I don't care about her. Exactly. Or who is he? I don't care. I don't. He doesn't seem bad to me. No. <laughs> you know? It's the truth. No, it's the truth. You I just have don't to care. doing bad things or know about it. Yeah. You can't just tell me he's a baddie. I yeah. need to know about it. Completely. A hundred percent. makes you laugh because it's not like this is a mystery. No. Like if you asked one person yeah. on the street, would they like this or this? They'll tell you this. Mm -hmm. And they brought in another guy called Joss Whedon. Okay. Now Joss Whedon made Buffy. Oh, Laura would love that. Yeah, she... He also made the Avengers movies. Oh, she liked that too. So the Avengers movies did very well. Yeah. They got like 1.2, 1.5 billion. Yeah. The, the other Avengers movies, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, and they, Jeff Johns was friends with him. Okay. So he said, we're going to bring Joss Whedon in. And he's going to do rewrites for you, Zach. Oh, God. <laughs> he's going to rewrite Talk some scenes. It's so insulting. Something. It it's really so is. Insulting. Like, either you're going to have him as director. That's the thing. Or go and get somebody else. That's the thing. You either fired him back then, yeah. or you didn't, yeah. right? Zach was kind of optimistic at the start. He was like, look, maybe he can work with me, and Joss is a good director, and you know maybe we can mm. collab and stuff like that, because Zach is such a nice person. People talk about Zach, even people who hate Zach, are like, well, yeah, he's a really nice guy. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, he's a really nice guy. Like, he would have been hard to work with, mm. you know what I mean? Well, it's and then, like asking a, an architect and a designer exactly to not put a window somewhere where they know that the scenery is its best for the exactly. house exactly that's, I mean, that's exactly it difficult. that's exactly it yeah. he's he's fighting the whole time like yeah. imagine trying to make something while you're fighting the whole no. time march comes around and unfortunately his daughter passes away and they use that as an opportunity mm. make it look like oh they're the good guys mm. and they're gonna let him be with his family and they're gonna finish it and they're off gonna finish him. it off for him in his yeah. legacy and things Absolutely. like that right now zach is like no i'm not having any of that i'll come back yeah so he comes back and he works for about a month or two more and then he just he can't do it anymore okay. because he's obviously going through this thing with his family of course. and fighting with the studio oh. every single day no like he just can't do it anymore no. do you know what i mean so he says to he says to his wife he's just like i can't do this anymore yeah so they let go 
and then he goes off and he takes a break for about two years. Right. And obviously Warner Bros. then said, well, we're going to bring Joss in. Yeah. Which they pretended, as I said, they used their advantage. They pretended it was because of Zach and right. his family tragedy. But really they brought Joss in a long time before that. Absolutely. Right? You know what he I mean? He was already there. He was already there. Typical. <laughs> Typical. But yeah. But go! Joss is like, this movie is terrible. I have to completely rewrite this. <laughs> yeah. So he rewrites basically the whole movie. Oh, Lord. And calls Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill... Uh, all the other people, Ray Fisher plays Cyborg, right? Okay. Um, and is like, we have to basically redo this movie. They come back for reshoots and it's like horrific. Mm. Like Ben Affleck wants to walk off set. Oh God. Um, Jeremy Irons, who plays Alfred, like refuses to do lines. Jeremy Irons plays Alfred? Yeah, he's so good. Oh my God. Mommy, he's the, oh, he's the best. Oh, he's a great actor. He's yeah. the best. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. would love him. I think yeah. he'd probably be your favourite in the movie. Yeah. He's so good. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he threatens he doesn't want to do it. Um, Ray Cyborg or Ray Cyborg, Ray Fisher, who plays Cyborg, yeah. he's black. Yeah, gets racially abused on set. Oh, lovely. A lot. Gal Gadot is put into a room and said that her career will be over if she doesn't do what Joss Whedon tells her to do. And who's Gal Gadot? Sorry, she's Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah. He wants her to do this this scene where she's lying, she falls and Flash like falls on her boobs. Like why? For why? Like, like why? Yeah, but like, why does that have to be about that just for the woman character? But that's the thing. It's so like, sexy. You know, I mean, not... she did always have good breasts, to be fair, even in her, in her, um, like in the show. In the Carter in days. The, yeah. Well, actually, that's funny that you say that she because was amazing. Um, when Gal Gadot was cast, people were like, her boobs aren't big enough. Oh, and are they? <laughs> um, well, she's, you know, she's like, you know, she's Wonder Woman, so... Oh, Mammy's like, are they? They are. They are. <laughs> so she's more of like a warrior now than she is. All right. Um, so she went, got, to, she went to the gym, toned up a bit. That's just stupid stuff. Yeah, what are they doing that for? That's, but that was the type of movie they wanted to be. Right. It was terrible what happened to everybody on set. Also, something else that happened, I don't know if you know about this. Do you know about Henry Cavill's moustache? I knew he had one. Okay, so he had a moustache for Mission Impossible. Yes. And um, with Tom Cruise. Yes. You've seen that movie. I have. You like that movie? She likes that movie. Um, they call Henry Cavill back and they're like, you have to do loads of reshoots. You have to get rid of the moustache. No, no, no. So, yeah, so they said, you're going to have to shave your moustache. And he said, okay, well, let me just call Paramount who are doing Mission Impossible. And they said, no, he's not allowed to get rid of the moustache. So then they had to CGI it off his face. <laughs> With not good results. Ridiculous. It's These sound like a pack of clowns. It's I'm ridiculous. God. This is him in the movie. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> it was It's not even his mouth. It's the CGI mouth, so it's a fake mouth. That's mode. terrible. It was all... The movie comes out. Of course, it's bombed. It makes 500 million, less than Man of Steel. Wow. So just to see, it's supposed to make 2 billion easy. Yeah. It's horrific. It's the worst movie I've ever seen. It's awful. It's terrible. It's it's bad. It's abusive. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. It's terrible. It's not terrible for all the fans, though, that follow DC. Yeah. And then they have to try and stand against this and say, oh, no, well... Well, terrible. Yeah. we knew it wasn't a Zack Snyder movie. Yeah. You could clearly see what had happened. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it wasn't his style. Like, all oh, we were talking about, like, Chris Nolan's style. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like that. So we yeah. all knew what had happened. And then allegations started coming out about all of them. Kevin Sujara. Yeah. Like, a harassed, abused women. Of course. They all do. He got fired. Um, Jeff Johns is a racist. Like, a terrible, terrible racist. Mm. <laughs> um, and who else? Joss Whedon awful person awful awful person but it was no surprise to anybody what had happened on the movie okay. let's just say that do you know what I mean but, but that's probably a good thing that the truth came out oh it is yeah 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 no it is a good thing but one of still want to save face of yes course, you know what I mean so everyone is like all the fans are like well we want to see Zach's version of this mm. movie of what he intended mm. you know what I mean because we know that's a good movie yeah no 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 they don't want to go they don't want to do it they don't want to do it um but the fans really fight for it God, that's very good at the fans, I have to say. For ye for three years. Brilliant. Um, he must have been delighted with you. Zach, mm. yeah, he was. I think so after that's he why he's good to the fans now. Yeah, because he knows that it wouldn't have done, wouldn't happen without the fans. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, personally, I never thought it would happen. No. I never thought one of us would release that because it's an embarrassment to them. Like, it proves that they were wrong. That's quite a thing Oh, by the way, achieve. also, sorry, the year before, as like a DVD extra... They released Batman vs. Superman, the full version. Right. And everyone loved it. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so they did actually then say we made a mistake. Well, no, they put it on a DVD extra kind of... Okay. Like, it wasn't a big fan mm. thing. Like, But the fact that they let that see the light of day... Yes, in all fairness. ...is them saying... 
we made a baby, but they continue to make mistakes, so I don't really thank them for it. Do you know what I mean? No, but it just show no, but maybe they were maybe they were just naive, mm. you know, and but anyway, good, good that people got to see it. Yeah, see it. and it was much better. Mm. But if you ask the average person, they still think BBS is crap. Because they wouldn't have seen it. Exactly, because they didn't see it. They didn't yeah. see the, re the exactly. actual version. Jeff Johns keeps his job. Okay. No one knows why. Joss Whedon is obviously told you're never working in Hollywood ever again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because multiple things come out about him. Okay. Uh, on Buffy, on the Avengers, on Justice League. He's been a consistently <laughs> bad guy. They behaved themselves. I know. It's terrible. But wow. he's he's a really disgusting person. He said really awful things about Zack as well. Which is terrible because Zack was only ever nice to him. Yes. You know what I mean? But whatever. Anyway, so yeah. we don't like any of these people. But anyway, Warner Brothers doesn't want to pull out Snyder Cut because... One, it'll cost money because yes. they haven't finished it. Okay. Like, they haven't done any of the VFX work. Right. Anything like that. So it'll cost them money. Where are they going to put it? They're not going to put it in cinemas. It's not going to get their money back. And also, it'll prove that they were wrong. Also, they don't want to continue Zack's version. Okay. They want to go off in a different direction now. Okay. So they don't want Henry Cavill as Superman anymore. They don't oh. want... Oh! Yeah. And everyone loves him. Wow. Like, he's number one. Like, I think if, if anyone wanted anything, they want him back as Superman. Yeah. They don't want Ben Affleck as Batman anymore. Wow. People love him too. They only want to go with what they want to do. They want right. to be more like Marvel. They want to be funny. Blah, 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 ah, blah. They're foolish. They're very foolish. So the coronavirus happens. No movie's being made, obviously. Right. Warner Brothers are losing money like there's no tomorrow. Zach's movie's just sitting there. Why don't they send it out? Why don't they send it out? They also have a streaming service like Netflix. Yes. That's doing really badly. Yeah. So they don't have any... They don't have any fan, they don't have any subscribers on it. It's doing Can't really it badly. That even? That's the, well, that's what they did. On the two year anniversary of Justice League, there was a big thing on Twitter and everyone was like, We have to push for this. We're gonna push for it today. So it was like hashtag release the Snyder Cut, right? Now, people have been using that hashtag for years before, but on that day in particular, they all did. And you've tried to get it onto your bird search. I have tried yeah. to get it onto my bird search, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that day was different because Ben Affleck tweeted it. Everyone showed their sport except Henry Cavill. Why? Because Henry Cavill wants to play Superman again. Oh, Henry! Well, he's not really. If it's doing well, he'll say yes. If he's if it's not, he won't talk about it. He doesn't say anything. It's kind of crap. But Zach... oh, that's bad for the fans. Although I suppose the fans don't have millions fans to can't, you. Fans to can't accept it though. Yeah, I wouldn't blame them. Like they like I love you know I love Henry Cavill I know so much. You do, yeah. But I can see what happened. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where, whenever I bring it up, people are like, "No, you don't know what happened. You don't understand." But it's clear. That Henry Cavill wanted this, and yes. it's clear that Henry Cavill was also the most enthusiastic about all the changes that but Joss do Whedon you not made. Think he, if it does really well, yeah. Have you seen it? The Snyder Cut, yeah. Yes. Okay, is that the one that you were watching? The yes. Last? So that's what came out, and you loved it. Every well, I'll, okay, we'll continue, and then you can talk about it. Okay. And um, so that happened. Ben Affleck tweeted mm. and blah 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 blah, and the next day, Warner Bros. came out and said it's a pipe dream that the Snyder Cut will ever come out. <laughs> And then the next day after that, so two days after mm -hmm. that tweet had happened, um, Jason Keeler, who is the kind of leader. So what happened was AT&T, you know, AT&T, they're a phone company. Mm -hmm. They bought Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. And Jason Keeler became the executive of HBO Max, which mm -hmm. was their, which is the Netflix mm -hmm. streaming service that they have. And he called Zack Snyder and said, we want this, we want this good. <laughs> right? He must have been delighted. He was delighted, but Warner Brothers were so angry mm -hmm. because... They didn't want it, you know what I mean? Oh, no. So there was like a war going on in in Warner Brothers because Warner HBO Brothers. Max wanted it, but Warner Brothers didn't want it out. But Zack did it anyway and he got it and Henry Cavill announced it. Okay. So, they, so they've that, made up. That, that kind of <laughs> took him off the hook. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? With okay. a lot of fans, I think. Ah, oh, well look, it's the biggest thing he has ever done. Mm -hmm. Uh, it would take five minutes to decide what you were gonna do. I mean, it, you have to like you have to give him the thing of he's trying to protect himself. A hundred percent, and he wants to play Superman again. Yeah, and he wants to. He but see the thing about him is he wants to play Superman whether it's good or bad. Uh, but, yeah, and also I mean I think he probably just feels with all the mess that he hasn't had a good whack at it. No, he hasn't. He you know, he hasn't had a so he goal. probably knows that there's a lot more to be had. There from is, that character. there is. But you the know. thing is, is he's gone to the studio with other directors that aren't Zach and said, "Look at this great idea that we have," and they said no. Oh, so man. they're not interested in having him as Superman again. Oh dear, which is terrible. But that's just the truth. I think his best chance is to get on board with Zach. 
Yes. You know what I mean? Because Zach would keep him. Oh, Zach doesn't want anyone else. Yes. Because he knows the fans love him. Knows the fans love him. He loves him. And he knows that if he got to make the movies that he wanted to make, he would be perfect for it. Exactly. Anyway. And so, get on board. Get on board. It, 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 people, but people have a lot to lose, you know. It's understandable why he's doing it. I just kind of wish he wasn't. <laughs> anyway, so the Snyder, the Snyder Cut comes out. Yes. Huge success. Wow. Like, everyone loves it. Critics love it. Uh, fans love it Marvel oh. fans love it everybody loves it like you loved it I loved it it was brilliant really good four hours four hours four she hours. talked about it for about weeks on end I'm still that, about it now, um, she had her whole day set up I did. there was an absolute if anybody came into the room while it was on we were all just <gasps> the movie's on leave the for the day I cried multiple times. She cries all the time. She <laughs> cries at football. She cries. I do. Everywhere. I do. She's always crying. Um, she needs a good cry at least once a month just to get through life. It's true about something ridiculous like Superman or something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so and then she gets it out of her, and then she's in great form. Then she's all. It's all good. She can get on with things then again. Exactly. I can but, move on. Uh, yeah. So no, I yeah, I remember you loved it. Everyone, it, it was really oh well received. God. How cool is that? So what's the plan now? <laughs> Whenever this wants nothing to do with it anymore. That's crazy though. Everyone wants Zach to continue, but on HBO Max. Ah, could so, they do it as an independent? Well, it's not independent. It's still over Warner Brothers. Oh yeah, but because they own the characters. They own the characters. But the thing is, is I don't understand why he, he couldn't just continue on HBO Max. So HBO Max would be the Snyderverse. <laughs> If that makes sense. <laughs> She's not bored. <laughs> yeah. She's not bored. She's not bored. HBO Max would be the Snyderverse. So he could continue with that. Okay. And then the movies could be whatever they wanted. Yeah, they just were not going to want two things running in tandem like that. Well, you say that, right? But I do. The thing is, they, Warner Brothers, came out and as a way to try and convince Snyder fans to get on board with their ones, months before... The Snyder Cut was announced. DC has this thing called the multiverse, which basically means in the comics, there's loads of different universes. There's Batman of Oh, of so Earth they're going to say Snyder could be over here. That's the thing. And they could be here. And they could be here. Now, that was a way for them to say... Follow ours as well. No, not even as well. Just follow ours. Like, Snyderverse is over there in a different world. And, and we're we'll here. we'll get to that again. So we said, when this, when this came out, well, okay... You're doing that, but can we have Snyderverse as well? Because it's multiverse. And they were like, no. <laughs> so forget it. Exactly. So it doesn't make any sense. It's no. like, you can't have both. You can't say there's a multiverse. No. And then not just say flat out no to, to Zack Snyder's Well, they things. can, but you just won't they can. follow it. Well, that's the thing. We just won't follow it. Because mm. the stuff that they've been giving us has been terrible. It's not been well received. Yes. And also, you know what you want as fans. You know what you just want. You want to give these characters a chance. Yeah. You want to give this director a chance. And also, he's, like he's forgetting that other one released. It's unbelievable. I Absolutely cannot believe it happened. I can't believe I, it happened. Neither can I, actually. No, it's actually shocking. Mm. Like, people want to pretend that they knew all along it would come out, but we, no one knew. No one knew. Zach didn't even think it was going to come out. It goes completely against the grain of what was happening. It for does. That to be brought out. It does. Completely. But no one, like, I'd understand if this was. What were they hoping when they let it out? Who? Were they hoping that like people would hate it in the Warner Brothers were yeah. Warner Brothers were hoping it would be a, it would be yeah. a failure. Now HBO Max obviously wanted it to be a success, of course because they wanted they subscribers and stuff. Yes, of course. But H Warner Brothers wanted also, it to you fail. Subscribe, subscribe. That's yeah, right. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, That's subscribe. But you needed to know two months in advance where it was going to be. Well, it wasn't on HBO Max in Ireland. God, we had to find out all this. But I stuff. did get it. I got HBO Max anyway. Yeah, to support Zach and stuff. Yes, okay. <laughs> of course, I've spent so much money on this. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, um, yes. Yeah, God, so she hasn't got a mortgage yet. Yeah, thank God. I can <laughs> afford this. <laughs> she can afford this silliness for the time being. For the time being. One day I'll have to let it go. <laughs> and, on to, and after that, Zach's going to have to give her a job. Yes, that's yeah. true. He will. But, yeah, so right now, at the moment, Warner Brothers are trying to bury the success of Snyder Cut. Oh, they're damn. not releasing the numbers of how well it did and they're pretending it was other movies did better than it that didn't because when we know it didn't because HBO Max crashed like four times when people were trying to watch it wow so and other countries so not America say Ireland they didn't it wasn't HBO Max that were doing that it was Sky 
and Sky have come out and been like, it's the most successful movie that Sky ever wow. had. And India was the, it was like the most successful movie in India. Wow. So we know it's BS yes. that it yeah. failed in America. We know that's BS. Yes. But they want to bury it. And they're saying really terrible things about the fans and they're putting out like articles against the actors in it and stuff like that, saying that they're like Ray, who was like racially abused and stuff, they were saying that he was difficult to work with and now he's hitting out and stuff like that. And it's like it's it's really terrible. Oh, it has been quite a saga. Quite a saga. Mm. Quite a saga. But yeah, that's what's happening right now. Maybe anyway, Zach should make a movie about the saga. That's it's what we're saying. Movies. That's what we're saying. You should make like a documentary about it or something. Oh, you could One, be in it. I could. Who would I play? The girl that pushed other fans to do the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I could play myself. <laughs> yes! Or Wonder Woman. Oh, or Gal Gadot, yeah, but she's Israeli. What have I let myself in for? Uh, quite a journey. I better watch the movie. Yes, watch I better at deal. least watch one or two of them. No, because you had BBS on the other night, didn't you? With Dad. You watched a little bit I of didn't it. watch it. What do you mean it was on? Yeah, but I, when I came in, I made him turn it off. No, it's good. It's yeah. good. Well, we should watch it as like family. No, I should. I would like to watch the first one first. Man Seal. Yeah. Yeah, we should watch that as a family. Okay. Or it was by yourself, whatever. <laughs> we can watch it as a family. <laughs> I just watch it nearly every week, so. <laughs> yeah, but would you be quiet and let us watch it or keep talking to it? No, I'd be quiet. Really? Yeah, I'd let you. Because I'm a movie. When I'm watching something, I have to. I would let you immerse yourself. Yeah. Except this one scene where he looks gorgeous. I can't keep here and look at Henry. <laughs> okay, maybe it might be a problem. <laughs> just need. I wouldn't do that. But there is one scene where I have to talk about how good looking he is. Oh, and what is he doing? He's in a. He's working in a bar. Oh, in a suit. No, he has like a like stubble, and curly hair. It's actually so good. I'm. I can't even talk about it. But anyway, um. <laughs> Say this dribble here. There is. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Any okay. any last thoughts? Um, no, I'm glad I know all about it now. And you know everything. You know everyone. I know everything. And yeah. Now I'll just, when you're talking about it, now I'll know what you're talking about. But it does prove that even when I'm sitting there doing my crosswords and you're talking about it, I am listening to Yeah, so there was some of it did filter through yeah. in the end. Yeah. yeah. Did. <laughs> went to, but that's after being told it about 50 million times. That is true. Yeah. yeah. It's Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder. Yeah. That's the one. If you can take one thing from this video, it's that it's not no, Jack. No, he'll definitely be back, Jack. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you so much I'm for watching. I'm now one of you guys. Yeah, she's now one. She's been. I'll start watching. Over. I won't have watch anything from the other Joss. franchise. Marvel. Nothing. No, you're a DC person then. DC. Yeah. <laughs> all the way. All the way. DC we are all the way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Are you going to tell your mother about the Snyder first? Do. You should. We because need all the help we, we can get. Mommy! See, she's fully on board now at this point. She's like, who oh, can we get? We can tag more people. I'm going to tell my friends. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you want to see more of this content or maybe we could do a Mama Seal watch along or something. Or we could do. Yeah. Or something like that. Anyway. Um, but let us know. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>